just about every computer has a USB connector to attach everything from mice to printers to help their computer work quickly and easily. Compared to other ways of connecting devices to your computer, USB devices are incredibly simple. Anyone who has been around computers for more than two or three years knows the problem that the Universal Serial Bus is trying to solve. This is an example of an MP3 player or digital camera's USB cord. If it is a new device, the operating system automatically detects it and asks for the driver disk. If the device has already been installed, the computer activates it and starts talking to it. USB devices can be connected and disconnected at any time. This is a USB port and a computer's backup station with a mouse and keyboard would be hooked up. USB cords are on almost every electronic now, including cell phones, iPods, cameras, webcams, and laptops. Most computers that you buy today would come with one or two USB sockets. With so many USB devices on the market today, you can easily run out of sockets very quickly. This is an example of a USB port hub where you can attach more than one USB cord at a time. Hubs can be powered or unpowered. The USB standard allows for devices to draw their power from the main USB connection. Obviously, a high-powered device like a printer or scanner will have its own power supply, but low-power devices like mice and digital cameras get their power from the bus in order to simplify them. This is an example of another USB hub. When the first powers up, it queries all of the devices connected to the bus and assigns each one an address. This process is called enumeration. Devices are also enumerated when they connect to the bus. The host can also send commands or query parameters with control packets. The USB device available bandwidth in the frames and the host controls the frames. Frames contain approximately 1,500 bytes and a new frame starts every millisecond. These are the bytes that are a part of the USB port. USB 2.0, which is a high speed USB, provides additional bandwidth for multimedia and storage applications and has data transmission speed 40 times faster than a USB 1.1. The USB cord on the left is a USB 1.1 and the USB port on the right would be the USB 2.0.